we really couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Went to the doctor a couple of times and they really didn't have any answers for us. It took uh, two trips to the emergency room. Just kind of once you got done with work, get on a computer, not do a whole lot. Uh, January, right after New Year's, 14, uh, started having massive migraines. Uh, did CAT scans, couldn't find anything. Uh, eventually just uh, collapsed in her driveway. A uh, neighbor saw it, uh, sent her to the emergency room, found out she was anemic. They had a suspicion that it was aplastic anemia, but it took me having to go down to Charleston to verify that that was the diagnosis. I didn't know what to think. This is one of those moments when you get so much information, um, it's a lot to process. And then you're trying to figure out what are we going to do. You know, like I said, a 24-hour caregiver, seven days a week. Where do you find one of those? When we found out how much it was going to cost us and how much uh, things that we had to come up with, you know, that insurance did not cover, it's pretty overwhelming because they weren't going to cover, you know, a place for us to stay. They weren't going to co cover somebody to stay with me 24-7. We had to come out of pocket, you know, money even prior to um, the bone marrow transplant. We would have to come up with, I think, $10,000, you know, and, you know, we just didn't have it. A lot of things we had to figure out, but yeah, at the time we didn't know how or what. We just hoped it all worked out. He went back to work, told them what was up, and they're like, don't worry about it, we got it. No questions asked. The Mitchell family in Carolina Comfort stood behind us 100%, even their employees. Um, we had a car wash one time, and I think every employee was there. Didn't have to be there. This was just something that we were going to do with friends. And every employee was there. Every employee helped wash or cook food or put up, you know, just held signs even. Really went above and, above and beyond just, just to be there for us. Trips to Charleston, if we had to be there early in the morning, they covered hotel expenses, got to use company truck, travel, fundraisers, um, he matched whatever we raised. It's important to take care of your employees, um, but I really have never seen it, you know, and I've been working since I was 15 years old and never seen a company take care of their people like they do. You know, and it's not just us. I mean, Darren's been with them a long time, yes, but even some of their newer employees they need something, you know, they're there. I've, I've seen it. So it's not just their family, it's, it's the community they look after. Anything they need, the best we can, you know, within reason, of course, always, but just whatever they need, we, we're always there, quick, fast, and in a hurry um, to make sure that their needs are met.